Continuing with area volume, FRQ topics, this is number three, uh, another calculator active problem. Find the area of R. We have uh, two graphs. We have natural log of, graph, natural log of X, which is uh, this curve on the left, and then uh, the linear graph on the right is the Y equals 5 minus X. Find the area of R. So with area, we have two, diff two uh, formulas. We can either do top minus bottom or right minus left. And we will, uh, I'll go over both forms that will allow you to find area. You can choose either one to represent area. But I think it's good to, to be able to understand how to create area in both forms, just to give us uh, that ability and that flexibility and that um, deeper understanding of how, what is needed uh, to create top minus bottom or, or right minus left area um, representations. So let's do top minus bottom first. Uh, top minus bottom, uh, maybe it's a little more straightforward because the equations that's in front of us is already in the form that we want to use. Uh, but uh, maybe first thing we can do is represent the intersection. So the intersection uh, between the curve and the uh, linear graph you can use um, uh, the second trace intersect feature to find that intersection. That intersection is going to be that order pair is 3.693 and 1.3065. All right, so that's the order pair. Okay, we use the calculator to help us find that. Now, the reason why we need this for top minus bottom is because notice that uh, we don't have a consistent top function all the way from um, as, I, as I move through this region R, right? We see that uh, up until this point, this dotted line here, I'm going to have a top function that is the curve. But then the second region, my top function all of a sudden changes to the linear graph. So we need two separate integrals to represent uh, the full, uh, if we wanted to, top minus bottom. So the first region is the region from 1 to this 3.693. And the top minus bottom uh, of this region, the top boundary is sitting at the natural log of x, and the bottom boundary of the shaded region of this uh, region is going to be 0. So natural log of x minus 0 between 1 and 3.693, that represents the area of this left region. And then the region on the right here, to the right of the dotted line, which is from 3.693 to 5, the top uh, boundary is sitting at the 5 minus x, the bottom is sitting at the 0, so 5 minus x minus 0. We enter both in our calculator and we get an area of 2.986. Or we could do right minus left. Uh, the advantage of right minus left is we only need one depth integral because this graph is always consistently on the, the graph on the right and then the curve is always consistently the graph on the left. There's no sudden change um, as we move through um, as we move through the graph, but that does require some adjustments because the equations that we see in front of us are not set up for a right minus left, so we have to get both equations as x equals right. The y equals form is for the top minus bottom. X equals form is for the right minus left, so we have to solve for x. So to solve for x, I have to get natural log, uh, natural log to go away, so I can raise both sides with base e. So e to the y equals e to the natural log of x. e to the natural log of x is just going to be x, so x equals e to the y. So that represents the curve on the left. The y equals 5 minus x is a little bit easier. I can just solve for x. x equals 5 minus y, so that's the linear graph on the right. So we do right minus left, which is 5 minus y minus e to the y. So that is our formula for right minus left. Our bounds, we also have to make sure that we understand how to enter in the bounds. The bounds is not going to be from 1 to 5, because those are in terms of x. We have to enter in bounds in terms of y, lowest y value to highest y value. Lowest y value is 0. Highest y value is that intersection that we found before, which is 1.3065. We enter all this in the calculator. Now, we have this written on paper in terms of y. But in your calculator, you're going to enter in as x. Okay. We get the same area value, whether we do top minus bottom or right minus left. Part B, region R is the base of a solid. For the solid, each cross-section perpendicular to the x-axis. So again, 
um, we have to figure out what is our orientation of our base length. Is it vertical or is it horizontal? X-axis, that's, that's a horizontal line. Perpendicular means it's going to have to be a vertical. So we're going to be drawing a vertical a base, a top minus bottom. But let's see, we're going to be building what shape on top of this? We're going to be building um, a square on top of this base. But if we do top minus bottom, just like how we experienced with part A, we have different top functions depending on which region we're talking about. So we're going to have to split this up into two regions again, just like before. So the base length of, re of region A, I named that region A on the left, top minus bottom is natural log of x minus 0. And then for the region on the right is 5 minus x minus 0. That's my base length. Now the area that I'm trying to build on top of this is a square. So the area of a square is base squared. So I'm going to put my expression into the parentheses squared uh, separately. And just like before from part A, how I had to split this up into two definite integrals, I'm also going to split this up into two separate integrals. But each of these is going to represent the volume with squares built on top of these, um, um, these base, um, uh, this uh, base region. Okay. No need to plug in the calculator, we just have to set it up. That's all um, the problem is asking for. Yeah, write but do not evaluate. We're just going to represent the depth integrals. Okay, part C. The horizontal line y equals k divides region R into two regions of equal area. Write but do not solve an equation involving one or more integrals whose solution gives the value of k. So here's our region. R. Uh, we found from part A that the area was 2.986, uh, but we have a horizontal line that is going to divide these two regions into equal halves. So I'm going to just indicate a dotted line and call that y equals k. We just have to set up an integral that will allow us to represent something that can be solved in terms of k, but we don't have to solve it. So let's set this up here. We, we know that our, um, we're doing right minus left here uh, since we have a horizontal um, uh, rectangle. So right minus left, right endpoint is the 5 minus y. The left endpoint is e to the y. We want to go from 0 to k as our bounds. And this area is going to co only constitute half of 2.986. So I can say that um, if k is truly the halfway point, Okay, if the dotted line is truly the halfway point in terms of splitting the areas in half, then the integral from 0 to k of 5 minus y minus e to the y must be equal to half the known area that we found from, found from part A. So the bat, bottom half region is half of the overall area, and this is all we need um, to represent as our answer.